So the way I make a ring is I get the inside size that I want and then I just go around. I like to heat it up a little bit so it's got a little bit of strength there. Got a little bit of metal penetration. And what you'll end up with is something that's fairly round. Ah, perfect ring. There we go. So I welded the ring on the inside. It's just welds on like that. All right, there it is. All the welds. Got that. Bolts there and there. And then what I did for the third side is I welded a stud, the flame tube, and then I'm just gonna tape it in. I just wanna try it and see if the damn thing works. For the ignition, I'm just gonna use this little grill igniter I got on eBay. Makes nice sparks, just with a spark plug. Good news is that we did have fire and it did spin up and everything. Bad news is I uh, gotta actually build it right probably. So I just hooked this up. It's a little bit of extra jet ski exhaust hose I had laying around. Hopefully it'll hold up a little better than that. Let a little more air through. Inside of the combustion chamber looks like this. Got a fuel rod, spark plug, this crown thing which has these holes so the bolts can go in and it holds the flame tube. There's the flame tube, uh, looks like that, and then it sits on this little flange there, and there's a copper gasket that, annealed copper gasket that crushes. All right, so I'm gonna fire it up. This is my oil system. The freaking intake bolt leaks like a sieve anyway. I mean, look at that puddle. It's been there for like less than a minute.
melted. <laughs> so yeah, it was a short-lived turbo engine, whatever you want to call it. But it was a good one. I mean, this thing was totally useless anyway. You know, I got it for free. It was already leaking all over the damn place. Yeah, the combustion chamber. I think that was, you know, a success. Except for, obviously, the gases coming out were a bit too hot. So I'm going to have to go ahead and drill some larger holes in the bottom of that flame tube, larger diffuser holes, so a bit more of that cool air can get in there and mix with the um, the gases, you know, after the burn, so it'll cool it off better. This, I mean, it worked, but there's just no thrust, you know? I was thinking about putting it on a surfboard or, like, the back of a bike, but it's just really, I mean, these things don't have any thrust at all. The diameter of the wheels is tiny, and, like, all the air goes around and through and back in. There's, there's no flow to it, you know? It's really... I don't like them that much, but it works, and it's a jet engine. And now I gotta get rid of all this oil. I think I'm just gonna burn it.